name is Rodney Reynolds and I'm from 3dgameman.com and this is another video review slash tip. Uh, today I'll be focusing on a tip, um, the pencil trick as well as the uh, spreading of, in this case, the Arctic Silver Thermal Paste. Um, so let me just swing now over and let's start this process. Okay, what you're looking at here now, of course, is uh, a few pencils as well as the processor itself. And this, of course, will be the, the correct way of how to cross the bridges on the Duron or T-Bird CPU. This is a Duron 650 megahertz CPU. Now, the type of pencil that should be used, this is actually a pencil, a mechanical pencil. And if I can show you here, the top is very small, and of course lead same, stays the same thickness. And it's HB. This is the, the correct type of pencil, mechanical pencil to use, for the simple fact that the lead stays the same size, and it's quite small, and you can actually do it quite easily with this type of pencil. Now if you look at this type of pencil, which is your standard old pencil. As you can see, the top on these pencils get thin or thick, and they're not quite as good. So I would not recommend using a pencil like this. Instead, use something like this, where you have more control. Something else that I used just to be safe was a magnifying glass to make sure that I was crossing and not going over or into any other connectors but the ones that I was supposed to connect. So a magnifying glass is handy to have and I certainly prefer doing it with a magnifying glass due to the fact that you might accidentally cross and um, short out something you don't want to be shorting out. This is a close-up shot of the L1 bridge. This should be the one which is penciled in. And what I mean by that This here should be penciled across, this here should be penciled across, this here, and this as well. So, one, two, three, four, every single one of these should be shorted, or it should be penciled in by going across, 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 and across. Do that for the L1 bridge with your mechanical pencil, and that's it. Pop it into your um, motherboard, and um, you can alter the multiplier as much as you want. Do not be concerned with L2, L3, or L4. In this situation, only be concerned with the L1, which is here. So again, pencil across, across across and across and that's it you're finished there is another trick if you have a motherboard that for some reason will not start with a Duron 600 uh, due to voltage problems you can max the voltage up by crossing or shorting within the L7, this one here. So short this one. This is one, two, three, four down on L7. So again, if you are having problems with a Duron 600 and some motherboards not booting, then you might want to try this trick, crossing this right here, one, two, three, four down, pencil it in, and then try it. Now to move on to how 
to go about spreading paste, any kind of thermal paste. In this case, I'm using Arctic Silver, uh, premium silver thermal compound, and it's optimized for small contact area. Uh, you can find out more information about this product at www.coolingstore.com and they will actually there tell you how to spread and some tricks about spreading this on any uh, CPU it's used on whether it be the Duron or any other processor. Now the trick that I use to spread this and um, other people as well do this trick you can use a razor blade that's the old-fashioned um, thick razor blades and um, they are they are the probably the best thing to use are the old-fashioned razor blades for the simple fact that the they have actually a big footprint but they're very thin of course uh, and you can spread it with with reasonable accuracy across the surface of your CPU now you can use a thin ruler you could also use a credit card or any type of thin plastic uh, I would not recommend any type of metal because you could damage the CPU in doing so and spreading it across the surface of the CPU itself so do not use anything metal and uh, anything thin and plastic would suffice in spreading it across of course you want to remember to keep it very thin this is always a major mistake that people make they spread way too much compound and, it, and even myself sometimes I get carried away and spread too much compound across remember all you're doing is filling in uh, little gaps that are to make a better transfer of heat to your heat sink so you don't need a lot of paste to do a good job and of course it does help to have good thermal paste like the I'd like the Arctic Silver so I'm going to just go ahead and spread some on the CPU right now okay so this is the uh, thermal paste and of course I just have taken the cap off and now I'll be spreading and it always seems that too much comes out and I'm sure everyone can agree with this that this tube need, needs to be redesigned so not so much comes out and as you can see there is way way too much thermal paste on this CPU so I'll just take a crappy ruler which is very thin as you can see and get both hands very comfortable and scrape off any excess that comes out now even this you might want to go back over it again and scrape some off the trick is to get a thin coat that only covers the top of the surface and you can probably just barely see the printing through it thin is very important thick is no good and of course once that's finished you're finished you did your pencil trick you spread on your thermal compound and now it's just to pop it in and enjoy so there you have it, the pencil and uh, compound spreading trick. That's very simple. If you uh, if you take caution, use a magnifying glass. The pencil, pencil trick is very very simple, as well as spreading the compound. Very very simple. And uh, then you're finished. Pop it in. Make sure to put your heat sink on correctly, slowly, firmly. Place the heat sink, and then you're ready to rock and roll. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review slash tip. And this with, of course, 3dgameman.com. Stay tuned. And next week we'll have another video review slash tip. Take care. Bye-bye.